Hey YouTube, I am going to be doing a video on how to put ashes into an urn. I got my uncle's ashes the other day and for a keepsake I wanted to put it into a necklace urn so I could keep them around and have a safe spot for them to be in. I got a nice little necklace urn. He was in the Air Force and so I got um an American flag or a necklace and it's a little kit and so I will show you what it looks like it's got a nice little shoot comes in a nice little red box very soft and velvety but it comes in a nice little American flag since he served his country with this thing it it's a nice necklace. The chain looks nice and, and thick and solid. And at the top, it unscrews. And so you got a little thing to put in there, right there. So we're going to leave this off because it's going to be... I got my little bag of my uncle's ashes. Now with the urn that you get, you get you get a little funnel and a little poker thing to I guess help put the pokes stuff in and it's connected by one of them plastic things to help keep everything on. Now I haven't tried putting it in yet which I probably should have but so I got my bag open I keep that nice and safe right there. And there's some bone chips. But what I'm going to do is hold it together like that and hope I don't screw it up. So we're going to do and I'm sorry for the lighting. This was a win. That wasn't all of them, but we're going to see how this goes. I might have needed to detach. I guess you can use this to push. Or not. I might have to take that off. That's not going great. So, what we're going to do is put them back in the bag. What I'm probably going to have to do is probably going to have to cut the end of that. And I'm probably going to have to cut this plastic part. And so, you're going to come with me while I get some scissors. Trusty handy dandy scissors. Oh. Alright. So we're going to cut this plastic part off so that we can disconnect that poker thing if it lets us disconnect the poker thing. Alright. Poker thing is now officially disconnected. And now we're going to put our little funnel back in our bag because there we go. Ashes are back in the bag. And I'm wondering if. Oh, I put the funnel in the. In the urn. Did you want to say hi? I'm talking to my son, he's over there doing weird stuff. What? I see what you're doing. I forgot to take your stuff. Just 
didn't realize it was going to be so hard. I might end up having to cut the end of this little funnel so that I can get get some parts out. I thought that I didn't realize that when you get ashes back that there'd be such big parts of it. But I don't know if it was if I got the crappier parts, I'm just going to go try and do it without the funnel. And hopefully, I guess I should prepare it a little bit better. I know I'm not the best at, best at this, but it's, it's honest and true of what I'm doing. And I got my lovely little son letting me know that I'm still pretty good. What I'm going to also do is get a napkin so that in case I do spill anything, that... Is it really going to be that bad? I don't know. You can just pick it up with your finger. I don't think so. All right. So, I got my little napkin on the table. <laughs> now we both have candles, though, so... You know what I think I'm going to do is, because this hole, they can't see that. Yeah, can't. they can. I can't. can see it. I can't even this, see that. Ashes are not like dust dust. They have like little bone particles in it. Yeah, they do. Cause... And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the part of the, probably not supposed Dude, to do it. what the heck? It was clean. It flung oh, across. I got, oh, I actually. This little part right here flung across the table. I think I actually got some of the ashes in there. That's pretty awesome. I'm what? pretty excited about it. Okay, now. Let's see how much more is going to go in there without. Now my trusty handy dandy little pick thing. That I was it's trying a before. poker. Not the actual game poker game. Let's see. Never thought it was gonna be this hard. <laughs> I'm probably not even doing it whole, all correctly. Seven minutes long. All right, I think I I broke through. Slowly but surely, I broke through. Are you? You might have broken a bone. What I might have broken a bone. Yeah, I got it all in there. I believe I got it all in there. We're going to set That's that. That's way bigger now. Well, yeah, so that it could get all the stuff in it. There's a and I still got a little bit more ash. So, so very gently. I think I got the rest of it this out. This is cool. I know, right? It's boxes. All right. This is the box. Literally, it's I like know, red velvet. Them. And so now... Did you already show them? Yeah. Oh. So now I got all the ashes in here. And it's... I still got a little bit of room. But what they say is to... Um, take, like, glue and glue the top of your urn so that it does not come off. But I'm not Doesn't really going to... I'm not really going to be wearing this because, one, I don't want to lose it, and I can't really wear this at work. And my... Stop. Um, my grandparents, on my dad's side, they were cremated also. And so I'm going to be going to Arizona in about two weeks, and the plan is to get some of their ashes... And, and I'm also urns. going with her to Arizona, so we're going to be vlogging at Arizona. And little urns, so that I can put my grandma and my grandpa from my dad's side in little urns. And this, and their son, my uncle, will be in his little urn around their urns. And so, I guess this also could be a review on, um, what is it? Just trying to see. I got this on Amazon. 
from um, its cremation jewelry memorial keepsake pendant. Stop! I don't know how well you can see that. Um, but that's what I got. And it was pretty easy after you cut the bottom part of the little funnel thing off. That's a pretty cute funnel. But I hope you enjoyed me doing my little funnel. Oh, and go to my channel, Flinkin Vlogs, in the description. Thank you for taking time to watch me screw around and try and learn how to do something and being patient. Peace out.